Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I've come here on assignment. Tell the story of one of the NHL's biggest stars. Guy is everywhere, isn't he? <laughs> a man who is as controversial as beloved. Just those eyes. He haunts a lot of people's dreams. Oh, no. What did we do? He's probably your worst nightmare when you first see him. Let's see who it is. The most famous thing in the world. How the heck did it ever get to this scale? Very own national phenomenon. <laughs> His story doesn't begin where you might think. Philadelphia Eagles are Super Bowl champions. In 2018, Philadelphia celebrated Super Bowl win and the Eagles were welcomed home by hundreds of thousands of fans. I remember watching the bus come back with the team on it. Never in a million years thought that the people leading the parade were gonna be the fanatic Swoop and Franklin. <laughs> and I thought of all things that we can't be a part of, we have nobody to align with those three mascots. In that moment, the Flyers knew they needed a mascot. But first, they needed a design. So how many do you think you looked at? I want to say we looked at maybe 125. No way! Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we had squirrels on the table and bats and deer. Out of the ones that had the most potential was this character, and I'll never forget, he was called Monster D, the letter D. He's got angel wings, he's got this big belly. Oh, right? So we're like, look, there's enough here we can play with. We took the wings off of him. His mouth changed 13 different times. Finally, we're like, this is the guy. This actually wasn't the first guy. The Flyers already had a mascot back in 1976. I think I saw his name was Slapshot. Is that right? I have no recollection of that. I seen one black and white photo of him. He wore a pilot's hat. And uh, my guess was he wasn't Philly enough. After his rookie season, Slapshot was cut from the team. Four decades later, the Flyers couldn't afford to make the same mistake again. That was our biggest fear, was that this mascot wouldn't be adopted. We had to come up with something that fans were going to embrace. We should just call him Gritty. That's what the Flyers are known for, being a gritty team. And that's kind of how I view the city. So finally, on September 24th, after five months of planning, <laughs> Gritty was born. It's Gritty! Kids are screaming with them and loving them. No kids run away from them. And we're like, this is, this is awesome. And so, you know, we put the tweet out of him. And then, boom, the tweets start coming in. We got blistered. We didn't realize it was like when you put googly eyes on a mascot that if someone takes a still photo, it turns into crazy eyes. <laughs> Everybody's just like, he's horrifying. Everybody this is the worst you. nightmare. <laughs> Fire the marketing department. What were they ever thinking? You know, and it's it's bad. The first 24 hours, we all thought we were gonna lose our jobs. <laughs> I think everyone in our department kind of had a moment of, oh no, like, what did we do? 60 minutes into his existence, just like Slapshot, the world declared gritty a failure. It's all bad. And then teams like Pittsburgh chime in. That opens the door for us to fire one back. It took just nine minutes for Gritty to respond. The Flyers fans took notice. It kind of gave Philadelphia a chance to be like, OK, this guy's defending us. Now we're going to defend him. It's like, wait a minute. You can't abuse him. He's, he's ours. Gritty earned his new family's respect. Seven hours later, he made his debut on home ice. The doors open up for his first uh, walk on the ice, and he bites it. We're all kind of like laughing to each other, like, what, what, what the hell's going on out here? I remember him thinking, like, he is breaking the internet right now. So the Kim Kardashian paper magazine cover kind of popped into my head, and I was like, I definitely think I could Photoshop him into that position. And then I came up with a simple caption, good night, internet. It was crazy. I've never seen something go viral like that. Gritty made his mark in just 24 hours, and ever since, he's been unstoppable. Which brings me here. 
face to face with the NHL's most popular personality. One of the things out there is that you were streaking once at a game. You're denying it? There is video out there. Gritty, get back here! Gritty, what are you doing? It's his personality. We don't tame him. Leave it up to Philly to come up with a crazy mascot like that. <laughs> I'd say he's kind of one of the MVPs of the town. <laughs> Who is Gritty? Gritty, yes. The Webby winner for best sports team in social, Gritty. Fans have embraced them as one of their own, and luckily, because of a bizarre sequence of events, it only took a day. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, highlights, and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.